gonna fit the jumbo 4500 gallon. as usual, giant and the last pilots and then fish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ciao. I want Jao to start taking fish, sometimes it does but very rarely. So lately I've been refraining from dumping the pellets right in his mouth. As I have been doing for a year or more. Well, I always been doing it and it used to take fish, but it wants herring. It used to take herring when we had, had been buying it before finding out the thymonase was killing my fish, our fish. So we, we don't buy herring anymore. We buy mullet, Atlantic mackerel, squid. And we also raisin the uh, freeze cichlids and give it and give them also but his high his highness the jowl zazula he doesn't want any of that he wants his herring only once about a month ago he graciously and surprisingly very surprisingly took one atlantic mackerel and hasn't done it since maybe it was, it's been two two months can sustain such a large fish on pellets. Pellets is, is a good addition full of vitamins and minerals. But a four foot fish it weighs forty pounds or fifty pounds, it's probably forty pounds. Maybe thirty, who knows? Hard to say. Thirty five pounds. Um, it needs to sustain itself on fish, not on pellets. they have finished the pellets just a few floating on the surface the Paco should pick him pick him off we'll give him half a minute to finish the last ones and we're gonna start throwing fish in there mackerel and uh, big two-foot gray mullet that's been cut up in pieces. Lately I'm feeding this tank once a week so they get usually good appetite. They haven't eaten, uh, I mean other than little snacks here and there, <coughs> pellets and whatever fish waste I mean, 
heel plates, whatnot, big bones that I give them sometimes in, in between. Still have some meat on them, of course. But those don't count. Just major meal is once a week. We only want to start with Atlantic mackerel. If I start throwing mullet in there, half the time they don't take it. But if I throw a, a few mackerel and then proceed with throwing in there uh, pieces of mullet, then it goes smoother. It's kind of capricious and Willward fish. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna begin with Atlantic mackerel. Hopefully, I I really need to see Perun's eat. Who took it? If 
funny about it. So I'm going to take the head. This is swapping mosquitoes on. Swatting mosquitoes on myself. possibly swallow another piece. Look at your stomach. Just let it go now so that somebody else can take it. Swallow it. He's swallowing it.
lately he's been surprising me how much he eats. Him and the youngster or the smallest uh, female red tail in the back. They're followed by the medium red tail. These have been the top three, the top three feeders for us lately. Well, for the most part, I should say. Gonna go hungry. You didn't want the fish. Got a little pellets. Red tail ate only one head, and Thug ate, I think, at least three. Maybe this is his fourth piece. So he's got four pieces, and he's probably three, five times smaller by weight than the big red tail. The big hybrid took one, the helicopter took one, the smaller, the smaller, uh, smallest red tail took, I think, one, and he's, I don't know why he's not swallowing that head he's got in his mouth. What's, I guess he's got another piece in the throat that he's working out before he can swallow that one. And he also got at least half of the mackerel. The big parun got one mackerel and the small parun got one mackerel. So that's our outcome. Everybody else just ate pellets. Indian shovel nose, the two distichotos, Lucy and Sexy, and the three Paku. This Indian shovel nose, I, I mentioned it before, probably more than once, but it's been a strange fish for us. He would rather die than take fish. He only wants pellets. It's either pellets or death. I tried hard to get him to take fish. Nope. He would rather die. So he's thin. I can't deliver enough pellets to him. I mean, he's healthy and he's just... He's just thin. Indian shovel nose can reach five feet in, in the wild.
ours is about probably shy of three feet or about three feet tip to tip and he's where did you get him about 2016 so we had him seven years probably about seven eight years old Anyhow, the small red, red tail is going to be swallowing that piece for a long time, again, because I think there's another one in front of it. So we're going to let him do that. And Thug did... Thug is still swallowing, I guess, the, the last piece. So that's our feeding. 